firstly, um, I'm here, okay, in Swaziland, I'm a student, University of Swaziland, so I got this uh, opportunity via gender links, so because I worked there part time, and then they said I should come here as a women in dialogue, African women in dialogue, so I'm an African woman, so that's why I'm here. We've been sharing experiences as African women at large. So as women, we're able to connect together, like to get the challenges we're facing, uh, type of coming with solutions on how we can help each other so that we can stay strong. I'm a young woman, and I'm part of a Young Women Alliance in Eswatini. So empowering women, that's what I do, and it's what I like. So I believe in seeing powerful women all the time. I believe in the freedom of women. I believe a lot in women. So with this opportunity, I think it's a great deal for me. I'll take this home and share with other women there as I'm part of a young woman, also a university student. I'll be able also to share with those students there, empower them and see they can believe in themselves, that they can do better. They shouldn't focus on men like men are, are those we should relate to all the time but we are also able to stand on our own. We should stand on our feet and we can do anything. Anything is possible. My highlight for me yesterday was, yeah, women are strong. They've been through a lot, like challenges, but here we are today, we're surviving. It's not that we're cracking or we're afraid of coming out all the time. As much as we're facing those challenges, but we're still remaining strong and the, the good part of it is that we are trying our best to overcome those challenges. A word of appreciation to Mam Zanele Begi. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's so, so amazing. I'm so excited to be here. And I just wish this thing can go on, on, on. It's not be just on one sort of thing, but maybe yearly or whatsoever. It's so nice to be here. I really like it. Thank you.